In this video, I will talk about some fundamentals of CCTV. If you want to learn more, just keep watching. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Claudemir Martins. In this video, I will talk about basic CCTV. Analog resolution is something that you must learn. Even if you consider old technology, because you have IP now, you have new technology now, you must learn old technology also. To become a better professional, you need to learn everything. So don't shoot the messenger because people are saying that you don't need to understand old technology. Maybe I'm teaching you guys old technology, but I am also teach you guys new technology. To be a better professional, you're still gonna find in the market some old technology, some analog camera, so you must understand that, right? So let's come here to my computer. I can show you guys something. Here, analog resolution. I have a chart here. I'm going to talk about that later. Let's uh, start understanding a traditional analog system. When you have a system like this, for example, with camera, different cameras, box camera, dome cameras, PTZ, and bullet cameras. And then you have a monitor, an analog monitor, a traditional monitor. Then you have your DVR and you connect cables from the cameras to the DVR. Okay, four cables, one per camera. Those are coaxial cables, RG59, RG6, or RG11. We already talked about that in another class. And then you connect the cable also, a uh, coaxial cable, RG59, 6, or 11, to an analog monitor. And then you have it, your 600 TV line here and your 600 TV line here, meaning 600 TV line for your monitor and 600 TV line for your camera. Your camera generates 600 TV lines and you can show it directly on a monitor or you can convert this to digital, okay? So once more, don't shoot the messenger, 600 TV line, it's old technology. You have new technology like HD TVI, HD CVI, AHD and other technologies, IP technology, but those old technology you must also learn, all right? So let's come back here. Uh, in the DVR, of course, you're going to convert from analog to digital and you're going to record it, all right? So guys, I wanna to talk to you about the analog resolution, how you used to measure them. Uh, in the past, you used to measure analog resolution just like this. You have a resolution chart here and an analog camera. And then you have an oscilloscope a monitor, analog monitor, and then you connect a cable, of course it's a coaxial cable, and then you connect also a coaxial cable from the oscilloscope to the analog monitor. So the idea is that you can measure the, the resolution of the camera using an oscilloscope. And then, of course, you need to do this in a lab, okay? Then you're gonna find if the camera is a 540 TV lines, 600 TV lines, or 700 TV lines, or whatever the camera has uh, in, in resolution, right? So basically the chart is something like this, right? You point the camera to a chart, a chart, and then the chart, you can see this image in the monitor, okay? So uh, when you don't have a oscilloscope in the old days, people usually were, were looking to the monitor, of course, you need to do a lot of stuff, adjust the camera, adjust the chart, uh, light and everything else, a lot of things you have to do. But basically, we are looking at the chart and looking for the lines, right? When you don't see the line anymore, when, don't, when you see like uh, parallel lines and uh, the lines start merging, that's the point when you have your resolution. Let's come back here to better understand this. So look at here, I have this chart, I have 400 TV lines just right here, and I have 500 TV lines, 600, 700, 800. If you are like seeing those lines, like separated lines, they're not merging, you have 400 TV lines in your camera. If you are still seeing this separated line, non-merged line, you have 500 TV lines. If you look at here and the lines are merging, around here, so your camera, it's a little bit, has a little bit less than 600 TV lines. So that's the basic idea, okay? But of course, uh, later people start like measuring this on oscilloscope that uh, gives them better measurement. 
but that's an overall idea, right? You look at the chart and you can have the line merging or not, so you have your resolution. So back here to the presentation, I wanna show you guys an example of a lab. This is a video from Clinton Electronics here in the US. Thank you, Clinton Electronics, for letting me use your material, right? I asked those guys to use their video. They allowed me to use their video, okay? So here's a lab. The guy's showing here a chart, it's preparing the camera, power supply, lights, and everything else, adjusting lenses, point to the chart. Then he comes here, adjust the lenses properly. And then he starts measuring, right? Look here, 600 TV lines, 600 TV lines, 600 TV li 700 TV lines, 700 also, and 690 TV lines. So that's the idea, right? You just point the, the camera to a chart and start measuring. Of course, the guy here did a lot of adjustment on lenses, on lights, power supply, everything else, right? You, you need to look at the book, uh, traditional book. I, I, you, you, I will put a link here in the description so you guys can see a good book from Vlado, that's a specialist. And then if you wanna measure something, you can follow his instruction, right? So let's keep moving. Here I have an example of analog resolution. If you go to Amazon, you type there 600 TV line camera, and then you're gonna find something like this, okay? Look at that, 600 TV line indoor secure dome camera. So you still find those cameras in the market, right? So you got to learn about them because they are still available. If you go to a customer, sometimes the customer has those types of camera, you're going to replace them. You need to understand prices, you need to understand the type of camera they have, even if you are replacing those cameras with new technology like TVI, CVI, and HD cameras, okay? So let's continue here. And guys, if you want to learn more, I have a suggestion for you. You can buy Vlado Danjanovsky books. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, right? So Vlado is a specialist. His books uh, has a, have a lot of information, a lot of detailed information about resolution, frame rate, configuration, cables, and everything you need to, to learn about CTV. And you can also come to my blog and you can see the Ultimate Security Camera Guide. It's an illustrated guide, has a lot of information, practical information that you can learn to install your cameras, okay? So that's all for today. I hope that's been helpful for you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, okay? And see you in the next video.